Scorpio, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a reading focused on the 3D energies between you and a particular someone that you are thinking about, taking a look at the physical connection, the attraction, the physical bond between you and this individual. And even for some of those of you who might not have been in contact with the person you're focused on, let's go ahead and see what presents itself and just be open to the messages. Okay, so general advice as always, please keep that in mind throughout your reading and take from it what makes sense for you personally release the rest. I do apologize for the background noise. We're having some work done here. All right. So I will be starting off with this deck. It does have some pretty racy messages in here. So just be mindful of that. We are ultimately taking a look at the physical connection between you and this person. The intensity of that chemistry and how you guys interacted in the 3D world. All right, here we go. Scorpio, what do we need to know? What's our first message for Scorpio? We have ice. You left me out in the cold. I know I deserve it. I know I could have done better, been better, loved you better. Please don't freeze me out of your life. I promise you won't regret it. This one speaks for itself. There's that cold vibe between you and this person in the 3D. So there is no physical contact right now. You guys are more than likely in separation. Okay, so that's what's coming through so far. Let's grab a couple more messages here for you, Scorpio, and let's see what else we can find out. We have chia seeds from where the moon and stars reside. You and I are mere specks compared to the billions of people on this planet. But in my world, you're the only one I see and I'll forever be grateful that the angels led me to you. So regardless of the fact that you guys might not be interacting physically right now in the 3D, they're still very grateful to have connected with you in this lifetime. That is what I, what I get from that. All right, what else about the physical bond between you and this person, Scorpio? Let's see what else. Let's grab another card here. Whoops. We have cardamom. Just take a deep, fresh breath and calm yourself. No need to worry, I've got you. Hold my hand and let's travel down this road of love together. Now, this might represent somebody completely different from what these two cards are conveying. So take that if it makes sense. This person, it's so interesting. I've been saying this so much lately. Somebody who comes in and they're like a breath of fresh air, you know, and maybe this might represent more of an agitated, anxiety ridden vibe, which is why you left somebody out of your life. You cut them out this clearly it's more of a calmer energy releasing your worries they're coming in as more of a uplifting support system for you and i'm just drawn to this bottom card here which is pomegranate you've had my heart right from the start i'm good for you you're good for me that's all you need to know i love you Okay, this, this isn't somebody that you are going to cut out of your life. They're coming through with this very affectionate energy. Okay, so that's what's coming through so far. Let's go ahead and see what else we can find out here. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Scorpio. So you cut someone out, left them out in the cold. But there's somebody else perhaps that's coming in or is already a part of your life at this point who brings you peace you guys get along great maybe it was instant attraction and they're clearly conveying through this reading that they're in love with you okay look at that cold hearted loner closed off bitterness unhealed broken heart 
So I can't help but go back to this first card that came through, ice. There's this cold, frozen energy between you and this individual. And if this is something that relates to what you've been through, you already know who that represents. Let's grab some more. That could be an ex-partner that you might not want anything to have to do with at this point. My world is you. Let's grab two more cards here. You're the only one that can see the fire in my soul. Bottom of the deck, look at this fire starter. And it does say with a single touch, sparks fly. So very different energies, cold energy. And this one obviously is on fire. So I can't help but feel that we're picking up off of a couple of connections here for you. Scorpio, one that's more than likely done and one that's either just starting or this is what you have the capability to attract your way if you haven't already found it all right so let's clarify with some tarot that's interesting with a single touch sparks fly and the way this is presenting itself clearly you're closed off to somebody they hurt you, they broke your heart, and, you know, maybe, you, you know, maybe you feel like you're never going to be able to forgive this person. All right, let's grab some cards for Scorpio. All right, so we have a reversed three of cups in the upright. Our keyword is celebration. And maybe there's a part of you that just feels like there's nothing to celebrate as far as what you've been through in the past, that it was very hurtful, it was very painful. You're coming in, Divine Feminine as the Queen of Swords. So there's a really good chance that you probably, you know, grabbed hold of the reins and decided to cut someone out of your life once and for all. You know, going back to the ice message, you left me out in the cold. I know I deserve it. I know I could have done better, been better, loved you better. Please don't freeze me out. But it just so happens that when I created this deck, I just happened to run across this image. And this is a queen. And she's surrounded by ice. She's surrounded by this very cold climate. You know, and so I can't help but feel that your heart is very cold to maybe this masculine that hurt you. And ultimately what you're focus on, focusing on here is being able to find love again. You've got the two of cups and that's what this can represent. Being able to find the fire or bring the fire back into your life. Especially when it comes to the physical connection that you experience with either someone new or maybe that's exactly where you're at right now. But this right here, the Ten of Swords, that's represented by what you've already been through more than likely. If it was infidelity, some sort of backstabbing experience, you trusted this person at one point in time, but they missed the chance to be with you because of something that they did. That is the way it's it's coming through here. Look at this. And now we've got the Four of Cups. So because of this betrayal, be, because of this experience here that was just ultimately very painful, the person that created this scenario, I feel this is a part of their energy. You know, we do see depression. The Four of Cups can represent their regrets. I feel this person, if... In an ideal world, we're given the opportunity to return. They would go for it. That doesn't necessarily mean that you would take them back. But their desire to have you back in their life, I feel that's a part of that energy. But they, they missed out. They missed the chance, okay? 
this is the next card. We've got the Ten of Wands. So whoever regrets losing you, they will perhaps forever carry this burden of that Ten of Wands because ultimately they know that they're the reason why things fell apart. And this is where you're at, Scorpio. You've got the Wheel of Fortune on your side. Okay, good luck new cycles, a turning point in your life, when it comes to your love life, certainly. So I'm feeling by choice that you're not with somebody because they hurt you. So there is no physical connection at this point. I feel you have either already moved on, as I mentioned, or this is a part of what's coming in for you if you are single. So your love life looks phenomenal as far as the direction that you're going. The universe knows what you've been through and will deliver something way better than obviously where you've been. So just have some patience. Scorpio, I have a feeling that your love life is about to take a turn for the better here. All right, so that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below in the description box as well as the link to all the decks that you see here. Thank you so much, Scorpio. I'll see you in the next reading.